All right, and this just in uh, right now as we come on the air. The ceasefire negotiations in Gaza. A joint statement has been released by the three mediators quoted by Reuters has uh, just been released, and it says... It is time to conclude Gaza ceasefire agreement and release hostages and prisoners. We have worked for months to reach framework agreement, and it is now on the table with only details of implementation missing. We called on two parties to resume urgent talks on Thursday, August 15th, in Doha or Cairo to bridge all remaining gaps and start implementing the agreement without any delay. All right, I am told we can go now to Shihab Ratansi. He is live for you in Washington, D.C. Uh, tell us uh, what more you've learned uh, about this. We don't have any more, actually. This just appeared on, on the wires. There wasn't even actually an official statement on, on, at the State Department website either. But yeah, it's, it's saying that it's time to conclude the ceasefire agreement and release hostages and prisoners. A joint statement, Qatar, Egypt and the US, asking everyone to re resume urgent talks on August the 15th, either in, Di in Doha or Cairo to bridge all remaining gaps. It's interesting that the State Department spokesperson was asked a few hours ago, though, whether this constant emphasis about how close everyone is to a ceasefire deal, which we've heard consistently since fears of some form of retaliation to Israel's escalation in killing Ismail Haniya in, in Tehran, since those fears have reached such fever pitch, you know, whether this constant emphasis on how close everyone is to, to reaching that deal is some way, is some attempt to diffuse diffuse the situation, though Matt Miller, uh, the State Department, uh, said uh, um, he, all he would say was any further escalation makes the region's problems more difficult uh, and that um, we think a ceasefire would go a long way to reducing tensions. This is the mantra we've heard from the U.S. administration as we hear all the reports about just how concerned the U.S. is about some form of retaliation from Iran and from Iran's allies in the region to the killing of Ismail Haniyeh in Tehran. This would, would seem to be yet another high-profile attempt then to keep, or, keep the focus on the ceasefire talks, though uh, you know, we've heard all of this before and we know that whenever it appears that Hamas is, ag is agreeing to what was supposedly the Israeli, the Israeli ceasefire plan, then Benjamin Netanyahu changes the goalposts, demands something else, and Netanyahu himself seems pretty, pretty open about the fact that now, and certainly the Israeli media are, that, that, that you know, Netanyahu wants to, wants to prolong this as long as possible so as not to face his own people either uh, at the, uh, the ballot box or in, in the law courts. So, yeah, I mean, I, it's, it's very difficult to... To, to pass what this actually means, whether everyone really is closer to a breakthrough or is this once again just, you know, the momentum, the, the, this attempt at momentum in some ways perhaps to diffuse, diffuse the tensions, at least psychologically, I don't know. But it's very difficult to pass. Right, uh, very difficult to parse. Uh, Shia Bert Ratansi uh, reporting there uh, uh, from Washington, D.C. on this uh, breaking development.